Hi, I'm Mike Kim of Fox Shocks, and today we're going to go ahead and take a look at the Power Tank Shock Boss Portable Nitrogen Fill Kit. And uh, let's just go ahead and take a look at the case here. Um, it comes all inclusive with everything you need. Um, so the, the first step in this whole kit is you need to have a nitrogen tank, uh, we'll call it the, the mother tank. And basically what you do is you take that mother tank and you fill up um, the, the portable tank here. And so that way you don't have to actually go to uh, a specialty shop or anything like that to, to go ahead and top this thing off. So you just take your existing nitrogen bottle and you top this off so that you can actually take it with you and you don't have to lug this big old nitrogen tank with you. <laughs> this uh, portable tank is uh, to go ahead and take the, uh, the fill tool here and lift your, your main bottle. Yeah. My pressure, my talent tank. That's what he did. Yes, you know, it's got a pressure valve on it, so my talent gets too much. And what's nice is uh, this kit actually comes with all the tools you need, so it actually comes with uh, the wrench as well. And it doesn't take a whole lot of pressure. And then you actually, on the end of this hose, have a quick disconnect fitting. So you just go ahead and connect it to here. And now, as soon as you open the, uh, the valve, you actually hear the tank filling up. And it's actually got a, uh, a gauge on there, so you can, you can see it actually filling right there. Now once it's filled, um, you'll need to vent um, the system here, so you can actually disconnect the, uh, the quick disconnect. Now it's actually got a check valve in there, so all you're simply doing is just uh, venting this line. And you're not losing pressure out of the tank. Now, now that the tank is filled, uh, from here all you have to do is take the uh, the cap off and install your regulator. And then connect your your filler. And then we can go ahead and go over to the vehicle or the shock and start filling it. Okay, so uh, what we have here is uh, one of our 4.0 uh, bypass shocks. Um, it's pretty much the same on any shock. You're going to have a reservoir, whether it's mounted piggyback or on the hose. Uh, you'll have one end that usually has a cap, something like this, and you'll have a Schrader valve. Uh, one of the, the nicest things about the, uh, the shock filler kit from Power Tank is that the, uh, the zero loss chuck actually is a quick disconnect. So you don't have to sit there and try to fumble around with the hose when you're trying to get this thing to thread in. Uh, so as you can see, it's, it's really easy to thread that onto the Schrader. Yeah, I know Axel. This is my other car. I have it helps to have the uh, zero loss check all the way out. <laughs> um, and also the, the nice thing about this new zero loss check is that um, instead of having the, the bronze washer in there, the seal, uh, they've got a, a different uh, softer seal in there. So it's really easy to do without having to have a uh, wrench to tighten this thing up uh, without it leaking. So from here, uh, you connect the, uh, the hose. And then now you can go ahead and engage the, uh, the no air loss chuck here. And then from there, we just go ahead and set our regulator pressure. And this vehicle is, uh, it's on the ground. So typically we would have everything fully extended and we would go with 200 PSI for all of our shots, which is a, a good uh, baseline for us. Uh, but because it's sitting on the ground, we can kind of compensate for it. So uh, since I've done quite a few of these vehicles, I know that sitting at right height, this, this shot's gonna want about 230 PSI. So I'm gonna match that 230 here. And as you can see, the shock already had 150 pounds. We're gonna go ahead and bump that up. And it's pretty easily done. What's really nice about this as well is um, you have this valve here so you can go up incrementally. So you can keep going and just give it a little bit more until it actually hits the pressure that you're looking for. And then you can shut it off right there and it hits the exact pressure that you want. Then you go ahead and disconnect the, the no air loss chuck. 
Make sure your valve's closed. Disconnect it there. And remove the check. Put your cap back on. And you're all set. Pretty easy. So in certain instances, like our UTV shocks, uh, we don't have a Schrader built into it uh, on the end cap. Uh, we have more of a tamper-proof style uh, needle fill uh, valve on there. So uh, Power Tank also sells the, uh, the needle fill as well. And basically at the end of it, you, you would basically insert the needle and then you would fill it um, through this uh, Schrader that's built onto the end of it. The other uh, uh, scenario that you may find yourself is some of our uh, UTV shocks also have more of a recessed Schrader. And so then for that instance, you would uh, use this uh, power tank uh, extension. And basically you would just uh, screw this onto the end of the Schrader and then fill from here. And the way this is set up, the Schrader actually disconnects before the seal is broken. So you don't lose any when you go, to go ahead and unscrew that.